we have a variety of tools at our disposal to cull through those 23 million channels and, and, and in an expeditious way. So when we talk about aggressiveness, we are typically talking about civil penalties. Not only can we sue Google and YouTube for compliance with COPPA, but also individual channel owners and content creators. My eyes were bulging out as I watched that uh, FTC conference. I was like that uh, chica from Jedi Star Wars, which I think is like the worst character that was ever made in a video game, right? Like I, I was watching like this, I had the Yoda eyes after seeing what they were talking about. Uh, absolute insanity. And I don't know why other YouTubers don't talk about this because uh, it's going to affect them. It's going to affect everyone, to be honest. They're not just the content creators. No, it's going to affect the people that like to watch videos on YouTube because uh, soon the platform is going to change. You need to understand when you threaten an individual with a reasonable fine of $45,000 per video, yeah, they're, they're going to err on the side of caution. Uh, I don't know how it's going to affect the Americans, though. I mean, I don't think the FTC can find me, a Romanian, uh, but I'm sure they will find a way. So what's this about? Well, YouTube was bragging for a while now that it is the number one platform for kids. And kids like to watch YouTube. Uh, so the American government like, well, that, that seems serious. Uh, are you collecting any private information from the kiddos? And YouTube was like, yikes. And the FTC was like, yikes, indeed. So they find YouTube, right? Like YouTube was already punished for having the audacity to become the number one platform for kids. And now they're going after the creator, right? Like YouTube already paid the fine. They already got the spanking. They bent over and the American government went like, uh, spanked it on the tushy, and now they're coming for us, the creators. And YouTube is like, well, we're a, we're a, we're a platform now. We're not a publisher, we're a platform. So every individual is responsible for what they post there. Perfect. Okay, so they came up with the idea that you mark your videos for kids. What happens when you mark a video for kids? Well, apparently, according to uh, Chad Tronic, made this uh, interesting... Uh, Post, um, the video will have no notifications. I mean, that's fine. You know, this this is welcome to a day in my life. It's not, it's not a big deal for me. It's like, okay, whether I mark it or I don't mark it doesn't really influence me. The video will have no comments. Well, I guess I'll become like Steve Shives then. Uh, by the way, this also kills traffic for the video. Normally, a person watches one video, but if it's a spicy take, if it's something interesting, people leave a comment, and then people come back to the video in order to see if someone responded to their comment. And this generates more traffic. So I guess this will kill some of the traffic for the video. Eh, all right, it's fine. The video will not be searchable. Well, who wants to search for me anyway, right? Uh, the video will not be suggested or recommended. Perfect. More suggestions and recommendations for the beauty bloggers. You're going to see on your left side the recommended videos, just CNN, Fox News, and beauty bloggers. That's... That's literally what you're going to see when browsing the website. The video will make 90% less revenue. Well, who needs money anyway? See, if I make money, I'll just have to pay the fine eventually, right? If you upload a video all day, eventually you're going to slip up. So uh, this happens when you click that the video is marketed for kids. Now let's see what the FTC understands by marketing for kids. So this is not from YouTube, by the way. This is from the government. All right, this is the American government telling you what it means. So, subject matter that is appealing to kids. Kids jokes. Music. Twinkle, twinkle, oh my God. <laughs> uh, games, video games. Right, so, so who's the asshole that said less players aren't going to be affected? Because hmm? I know it was going around, it's like, oh no, less players are going to be fine. But we got the, we got the mail from YouTube saying that let's play. No, they're not. All right, I don't care what YouTube sent you. This is the government, right? This is that the people that are going to watch your channel and decide if you have a single video or more in violation. So no, I I think it's going to be like this. Like if you have a let's play, uh, it better be of something R rated. Like if it's T 14s you're already pushing it. Okay. It, it, Hopefully, you're going to play some Mortal Kombat. Uh, if you play something like Mario, Sonic, uh, Minecraft, 
uh, think again. All right. No, seriously, I'm I'm not you know trying to fear monger people. I'm I'm looking at the way the FTC is judging this, and they are definitely including uh, let's plays of things that children play to be a part. Now, the only way you can save yourself is you can say, well, you know, this video is ESRB marketed R for adults. Kids don't have to play it, therefore, right? But it goes on. Uh, children TV show or star. So I guess, you know, Barney the Dinosaur. Uh, what, what else do kids watch? PewDiePie. Huh? Is PewDiePie still for... PewDiePie. Pewd, PewDiePie. Talk about this shit. Come on. I, I know you already talked talk about it some more. Scary stuff. Uh, cartoon characters. Oh, we're going into anime land now. Do, do you honestly think? All right. No, and, and you're going to see when we go into the language. Do you honestly think that the boomers on the FTC can differentiate between uh, Attack on Titan and SpongeBob? I mean, you're playing with fire if you think they can. And we're going to see in a little bit, right? Sports. Stories, toys, children's books, fantasy. No more Dungeons and Dragons. Like, no, I'm not kidding. Like, all of this content, if you put it up, you risk getting fined. Uh, children's arts and crafts. Pets. I have cat videos for the love of God. Products privately purchased or consumed by kids like snack food or cereal. Even though adults use all of these, even though adults consume all of these, um, children do so too. And they want to make sure that children do not watch content that don't affect them. But now, here, here's even more, like the presentation, the language of the websites, such as language that is simple enough to be understandable to 12-year-olds and under. Short, colorful description, slang and pop culture phrases. For example, fun, free stuff, whatever, cool, duh, games, ask your parents, etc. Uh, to me, it seems like this law was written in the 80s or the 90s. I think it's the 90s. And it hasn't been updated. Whether the website uses visual content appealing to children. Animated characters, bold or fast moving graphics or bright and vibrant colors, which is pretty much like most of YouTube. Even when you're watching like a historical documentary or something that's meant for adults, you use these tactics in order to keep people interested, right? Like I don't use my tactics and look at my subscribers. So um, here's what's happening, right? You put up a video and the people from the FTC, if they see your video, they can fine you. Now, normally, I thought that, well, there's going to be a lawsuit because they, they will have to sue you and you, they will have to prove in a court beyond any reasonable doubt. Well, not any reasonable because it's a civil lawsuit. They have to prove in a court uh, that your video is made for kids. Uh, and, you know, it can be, come on, Your Honor, I curse. I, I have a potty mouth. Look at the subject matter. I mean, it's Attack on Titan for the love of God. Like, look, 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 look how horrible this cartoon is. Who would let their kids watch something like this, right? Uh, but no, that's not the case. What happens is they fine you $42,000. And then you're going to have to hire a lawyer because surely you have the unending bag of gold. And uh, sue them so you can get your body back. Uh, no, this, this is definitely going to change the internet. I'm not kidding. Like, content creators, when they see people getting fined and their livelihoods destroyed, because there's no way you can pay all of that, you know, uh, they're going to stop doing this content. And I, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, as a consumer, I'm not talking as a creator right now, as a consumer. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Let's Play industry is going to be dramatically changed. Uh, I don't think people like um, Comicsgate are going to be able to make a living anymore on YouTube. I mean, look, it says so right here, right? Uh, arts and crafts things. So if you if you decide to, to show how you doodle something or you talk about comic books, I mean, these people think that whatever cool, duh, and free stuff and fun is, you know, language that target kids. Uh, imagine how they think about you drawing a cyber frog or talking about Superman like my boy Zach. They will 100% think that channel is made for kids. I mean, it talks about comic books, come on. You know, like, when you, when you look at the conference, you will see a bunch of old people 
sitting around the table. The, these people probably don't even know what the internet is. I would be highly surprised if they actually spend more than five minutes a day, you know, going on, on social media. So your livelihood is in the hands of them. And I strongly encourage uh, people who are doing this to talk to a lawyer and further understand that even if you are 100% in the right, even if you, you know that you're not violating anything, they can still fine you and the onus is on you to prove your innocence. Like after you got the fine, you then have to sue them and then you have to prove that, no, 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 see the, the videos that I have been sued are for kids. And think about someone like my boy Zach here, right? If all of his videos are targeted, like let's say 10 videos of him are targeted, that's $420,000 of a fine. That is insane. Uh, so I, I generally do not know uh, what they are going to do. Uh, hopefully, you know, like this will not be applied because so many people are breaking the rules that they are, they are going to have to, you know, uh, find so many people that they might not be able to handle the paperwork. Uh, personally, I think they are going to go after big channels first, like people that have millions of subscribers and make an example out of them so everyone else falls in line. Uh, but there is another option, which is like a, a slimmer of hope. In, in fact, it is so far-fetched that I don't even know why I mention it. Uh, the FTC hasn't actually made the ruling yet. <clears throat> they, they're still waiting to see what the public opinion on this is. So every single person that's a YouTuber, right? I'm, I'm a small guy. I'm a small guy. I don't have that big of a clout but, uh, uh, of attraction. But if you're a bigger guy than me and you're seeing this video, Talk about it on your channel and ask your subscribers, if they're from the United States, to make a very polite email explaining to, the, to these people that what they are doing is wrong and explain how it is wrong. Uh, and provide some alternatives, you know. Um, they are going to change the internet, whether they know it or not. I mean, right now it's YouTube, but it's going to go over to Twitch. It's going to go over to everything. So if you're someone who enjoys Let's Plays, if you're someone who enjoys comic book reviews, uh, if you're someone who enjoys movie reviews, like Star Wars, for example, definitely made for kids. They're, they're going, like, Star Wars is marketed by Disney. And Disney is marketing that to kids. Like, I, I don't see how they, they're not going to interpret Star Wars as being kids-friendly. Even, like, no matter what the rating is, they're going to interpret it as, you know, being for kids. Because it has so many toys and so many things, they're going to say, oh yeah, kids are definitely going to watch this. Uh, so yeah, like, uh, pretty much, like, even people who talk about politics might, might be affected by it if they, uh, use animations or, you know, uh, if, if you're, if you're into anime and anime review, you're not going to find this content anymore. You're going to have to go underground to find it. Um, and again, like, what American is actually going to provide this content if he knows he will risk getting a, a $42,000 fine? Uh, anyway, right. This is what I have to say. Link is in the description if you want to contact the FTC and tell them about it. Uh, I personally don't understand why they just didn't make YouTube to have people who make an account and claim they're under the age of whatever to not get targeted ads. Wouldn't that be more sensical? Like if, if I, for example, have a kid, then I can create an account for him on YouTube Make sure that he is under the age of uh, 14 or whatever. And then based on that account, the website restricts certain content from that kid. And then everything is fine. Why does society have to change entirely to accompany the few? It's something that I don't understand. Like I as an adult cannot watch the content that I like to watch because some child might watch it. It's like, well, doesn't that child have parents to restrict him from watching the content? Doesn't... You know, like, isn't it easier for the, the company to just restrict his account from watching it? Why, why does everything have to change? Uh, but anyway, right, like, that's, that's my question. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the comment section.